There was no place on the grounds where uh, where home builders could get together. If you think about Warbirds and Vintage and Ultralights and the, the other parts of the convention, they've all got kind of a hub, a meeting place, a gathering place where uh, the people that are passionate about that part of aviation can get together. And we wanted to do the same for home builders and, and this, uh, this hangout is the result of that. As you can see around the walls here, We've actually put uh, a recognition for all of the past Grand Champions. Um, since the beginning of this great organization, there have only been 114 uh, Grand Champion Awards, re recognizing the absolute peak of craftsmanship and innovation. Um, so we've been, we've been trying to have this concept where you bring an aeroplane in here and learn from someone that, that, that built it and, uh, or designed it or whatever. Also, we want this to be a place where people can meet and network, so we've got the notice boards and things like that where uh, people can leave details of their projects and projects for sale and, and, uh, and, and all that kind of stuff. Core culture is craftsmanship. The core culture of the organization is home building. It's innovation. But we've been an organization that's engaged people who are passionate about flying, they either build, restore, and so forth. We're here today to dedicate this building, but also recognize a family, an organization that's been an important part of the home built movement for decades. That's Aircraft Bruce and the Irwin family, Jim Irwin and his family. So, Jim Irwin and the Irwin family and Aircraft Bruce, please come up here and be recognized. And let's thank them for making this possible. So, we hope this will be a building that will um, uh, bring many memories, many good memories in years to come. Aircraft designers, aircraft builders, uh, anybody involved in aviation and loving the aviation, I hope it will, it will come to this building in years to come. So thank you all very much. Aero TV is brought to you by the beauty of the Release 9 system architecture is that you have two fully redundant integrated flight displays. Each has access to all the systems and data. Providing full redundancy and eliminating traditional reversionary modes, Release 9 allows either display to be configured as the PFD. Now your failure modes are much more manageable because you can continue to fly with the same familiar display symbology without the need to relearn composite modes you don't typically fly with. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is truly the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology.